Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I've got another small dabbed painting for you. Today I'll be using black, white, and two shades of gray. Not 50 shades of gray, only two. And, uh, and then a small squarish piece of corrugated plastic. Now, no, I mean, if you've seen any of my videos, you've seen me do these little dabbed uh, paintings, right? You know, take a pool of paint and then I move it to, you know, I just kind of splash the paint by dabbing it over and over in the colors. But today I want to kind of do something a little different. I wanted it to have a little more structure. So you'll notice one, that I'm kind of pushing all the way down with the paint because I'm trying to get that square shape um, in the painting itself. So I wanted maybe not necessarily just a square, but like some, some straighter edges or some some pockets of paint as opposed to just pouring paint all over the, the canvas all at once and pulling that out. So you'll notice that this is a little bit different than some of the other ones I've been doing recently because I've been trying to, I tried to give this one a little bit of structure. Now, did it work out? Not necessarily. I can tell you right away that it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. However, it didn't turn out bad. It just, you'll see by the end that the structure just kind of goes out the window. Although I think it's a cool concept, and I think if if maybe I do it again, I could probably get it if I just kind of work on it. And I think that also I shouldn't have used two shades of gray because I think that there's not enough distinction between them that it, it warranted using two different hues of gray. So I think if I had just done one shade of gray, one black, and one white, I think that that would have helped uh, give this painting a little more pop, but I, it's also very similar colors. So they're, you're kind of stacking those colors on top of each other. So I think that maybe next time I'll, I'll try some, some more varied colors. So like if I still do black and white, like maybe blue or yellow, actually, I think yellow might turn out good. So I might actually do another one of these with yellow. So we'll kind of see. Now I'll just run through the materials real quick. If you've never watched any of my videos, the paint is gloss enamel. I get it from a local paint store called Dun Edwards. Gloss enamel is just a high gloss house paint. And the paper is Canson. It's a watercolor paper. I don't remember if the size is 18, 12 or like 11 by 14 or something like that. But either way, it's a, it's Canson watercolor paper. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. And the plastic is just uh, corrugated plastic, like I said that uh, that I cut but so you see here you can see that I'm starting to lose that structure um, I've kind of gone through the gray too many times for it to have any distinct shape or you know lines it's it's now to the point where there's so much gray that it's it's really just starting to blend like you can see a little bit of that structure underneath um, but it's at this point that I realized that I've lost it so really here, what I start just trying to do is, is fill in the gaps. And then I believe we had a little bit of some of the other colors again to kind of balance it out. I don't really remember uh, exactly. I do know that like when the paint, the painting ended, uh, a lot of it was pretty gray. So, you know, overall, I don't hate this painting. I, I did kind of like it, but it's not one of my favorites, I think, because there's too much, like, gray. So there's not enough variation. Um, again, it wasn't a bad painting. I think it's, you know, it's worth selling or giving away. But I, I again, I just personally think there was too much gray at the end. And I, I probably could have added more. But at the same time, I just wasn't sure what to do. So I just kind of left it alone before I ruined it. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully... You enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in another one. So you guys take care, okay? Bye.